Kathmandu Valley is where mythology and geology intertwine. According to popular legend, Swambhu Puran, the valley of Kathmandu was once a big lake inhabited by Nagas or snakes. There were lotuses floating around this big lake. Once the Bodhisattva Manjushri, a Buddhist saint, saw a bright flame coming out of a lotus that seemed to be planted in a hill. He wanted to have a closer look, so with the strike of from his sword of wisdom, he caught a jurors near Choba Hill. The water from the lake drained out of his jurors and the valley of Kathmandu came into being. The valley that was created was fertile and people started cultivating here and building their homes here. Finding Lord Manjushri during his kingdom of the lake, Naga King Karkot made an emotional appeal to Lord Manjushri for making room for his subjects and him to stay on. Showing empathy to Naga King Karkota, Lord Manjushri left a small area with water that became known as Taudaha and the adobe of Naga King Karkot. Thus Manjushri has preserved a special small pond for Karkot and his subjects to live there and he assured them that they would receive worship from humankind forever. Kathmandu Valley used to be a big lake. Knox became very angry when humans drained the lake to make it livable. To protect themselves against the anger of Nagas, people gave Nagas certain areas as pilgrimage destination and promised to worship them on the day, returning harmony and nature. That is continued till date. Thousands of devotees visit a small lake called Taudaha, about 10 kilometers south of Kathmandu, to worship Naga king named Karkotak. On this day, Nag king Karkotak is believed as living there since Manjus Street drained the water from the Kathmandu Valley. There is an ample geological evidence to prove that Kathmandu Valley was once a lake. But geologists piecing together the genesis and demise of the pre dormilon lake now think it may not have been drained all at once, but in phases. Geologists have found the fossil remains of the extinct ancestor of mammoth, hippos and crocodiles in the Kathmandu Valley. Geological and fossil evidence indicates that the Kathmandu Valley was covered by a large lake between approximately 2.8 million and 10,000 years ago. Paleo Kathmandu Lake is thought to have drained in phases due to drying of regional climate, continuing mountain building, tectonic uplift and faulting in the region, and the formation of an integrated drainage system as river channel cut through previous rock ridge dams. People of Western Nepal translate cut for wood, mandu for temple, therefore, Wooden Temple received this value name. Thank you.